Hey guys, what's happening? This is Phil here, and this is going to be yet another episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to get rid of your unwanted villagers, and we're going to get started right now. I've got another tips video about a new smartphone turnip selling app right after this video, so be sure to watch all the way through and check that video out. First things first, let's debunk some myths. Most of these myths simply don't work because it's not how the game is coded. The game's mechanics are simply not designed this way. So, some of these myths are simply not true. They're just completely made up. Also, I've tested them out and they don't work. Myth number one. No matter how many times you hit or push around your poor villager, this does not work. This has no effect on their moving out status even though it might make them mad or feel really depressed. While it may make you feel a little bit better, at the end of the day, it doesn't do anything. And actually, it may prolong the departure because you're still interacting with them. And as a matter of fact, after you hit them four times, it initiates a conversation which is completely defeating the purpose. Myth number two. Talking with Isabel about your most unfavorite villager doesn't have any effect on the moving out status. This doesn't do anything but reset the character back to its original defaults. It doesn't put any sort of action towards moving them out. Myth number three. You can't move out the two villagers that you started with. This is false. You can move them out, but there is a specific way to do it. We'll talk about that in just a bit. Myth number four. Send them hateful letters. This doesn't work either. This may actually add to the attention and prolong their stay because you're giving them a gift of sorts. And myth number five is fencing in your villager causes them to move out or causes them to become depressed quicker. I've tested this out and the villagers are still actually allowed to get out of their homes. They're actually allowed to get out of the fence. Let me show you. I fenced in this villager at around 3 a.m. I time traveled to the same day at around 3 p.m. and they were stuck. So I said, okay, this is definitely working. So I time traveled a full day ahead to help speed up the move out process and she was gone for the day. So she got out of the fence. The fence didn't work. So you've probably guessed it by now. The best way to get rid of your villagers is to simply ignore them. Here's a couple tips and strategies that I would recommend you use to help speed this along. Step number one, ignore them. You simply need to ignore the villager to the extreme and literally treat them as if they don't exist. So that means don't talk to them for DIY recipes, don't talk to them while wandering around your island, and don't talk to them if they try to get your attention with a little exclamation point above their head. Here's a quick tip. If they're home, you can actually go in the house and walk right back out. You'll notice a little question mark over their head when you do this. This should add to the neglect statistics of the game, helping you to pursue this move out. Since this is technically within the bounds of ignoring them, I would recommend using this tip. It's also been said that while you're ignoring the unwanted villager, talk to all of your other villagers to help with the neglect. That maybe somehow the other villager would more so notice that you're talking to everyone but them and help add to the neglect statistics. However, I've not vetted this entirely, so I've just been blindly doing it in hopes that it really helps. But just keep that in mind when you're going through this process. Then, eventually, you'll see a cloud of thought over the unwanted villager's head. This means that they're likely ready to start the conversation about moving out. And I say likely because it could be that they just want to have a conversation with you. So if you do see the, the bubble above their head, be sure to talk to them, but just keep in mind that it's no guarantee. But if you talk to them and they are wanting to move out, then they will hint around to the opportunity for them to leave. Finally, the resident will be in boxes and eventually the home plot will return to a work in progress state. At this point, you can likely travel to a remote island to see if there is another wandering villager waiting for you to recruit them. At this stage, you can refer to my other video on how to recruit more villagers in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It explains how to control which villagers move into your open plot. I'll put a link in the description. 
The second option is for those that have filled up their island with 10 villagers already. You still want to ignore the unwanted villager until they leave. However, if you have someone visit your campsite while you have 10 villagers, then you should still talk to the visiting character and convince them to stay. You should complete all of their tasks, DIY projects, mini games, or other various things to help convince them to stay. You may have to do this for a few days, but once you've convinced them to stay, they will be heartbroken because there's no room on your island. At this state, you have the opportunity to let them know which villager is soon departing, and you'll be able to select it from the conversation menus. Once you select this villager that you want to move out, this will start a negotiation of some sort between the two villagers. And then soon, Isabel will announce their departure. Leave a comment below and let me know which villagers you're currently trying to get rid of. I'd like to see if everyone has a hatred for the same villager. The third option is a mixture of step 1 and step 2, except you're involving amiibo cards. Also, if you want your villagers gone quickly, then this is the step I'd recommend, which this also includes the villagers that you first started with. So, regardless of the villager count, you can scan in an amiibo card villager, they'll show up at the campsite, and then you'll perform the same tasks as step number two regarding convincing them to stay. Of course, they'll be sad that there isn't any room on the island, and the conversation menus will give the opportunity to choose which villager has plans on moving out. The negotiation occurs, and the next, Isabel should announce their departure. Be sure to check out the video on the creepy alien broadcast message, or the video on the awesome turnip trading smartphone app that you need to download today. For more awesome videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video.